telling you three of my craziest college hookup stories. Why does he ask me how much weight did you gain? This one is a grinder story time. But here's the thing that made it so difficult. There was like this much space between the floor and the door. So we had to be quiet, come to the door and there'd be sometimes where we wouldn't be paying attention but we had already been loud. So it's like, they heard that. He grabs onto his, he just starts squeezing them. I'm like, oh my God. He was like, yeah, that's this is what I have to do. But with every squeeze, it's growing. Wait, my lips is dry. What's up, K Mob, Mother Fin Fame Mob? What up, what up? It's your boy Keys, Keys the Goat, Keys the President, Big Keys with a big wall and a big mama. Ain't nobody what? Bobby, yeah. Ah, you get it, you get it. What's up, y'all? Hope you guys are having a beautiful day today because I know I am, because I'm back. I'm back and I'm fishy. Yes, y'all, I find I brought everything back. Please don't get to reading me. Like, I. Whoa, why am I getting so much backlash on my recent YouTube video? I told you I was just testing it out. What kills me is I addressed it at the end of the video and I was like, I'm going to take it out now just to see if, what it feels like. But if y'all don't want it, we can put it back. And when I tell y'all, I mean, I didn't got read so many times in my DMs. I, I'm this close to reading y'all back. Leave me alone. But what's up, y'all? So you might be like, Keith, why are you put it on today? Um, it's late. <laughs> of course, it's always late when I record and I'm about to do my hair. Like y'all not stopping nothing. But I'm going to tell y'all my business while I do it. So a few weeks ago or maybe like a month ago no it was about a mm, my, my perception of time is pretty flaccid i'm not sure when it was but i know it wasn't last year so sometime between last july and now i made a video and i was talking y'all about my like three craziest like story times and i think i was gonna do three whoopings it was the three story times at school and y'all said y'all liked it and i was like <laughs> I was like, cool, thank you, because girl, listen, I don't got enough long, like, past story times no more. Like, I didn't told y'all every ounce of business that I have imaginably lived. So, mm, but that's not true. That's why I had to start giving you these mini ones. That's why I gotta start cutting them up and I gotta start getting creative with it. And there's so many story times. Like, there's just one story time. Oh my God. Patreon girls, y'all remember the story time about the funeral? Oh my God, I wanna talk about it so bad, but I know it would be a lot of awkward phone calls and a lot of, now, what did I tell you about telling my business? It would be a lot of that. I don't wanna deal with it. Right? Today, I'm gonna be telling you three of my crazy college hookup stories. I'm also gonna be doing my hair while I do it. Yeah, like I said, my hair get happy. If you say anything about it, you're anti-black. I wet it after I got out the gym earlier. It's low-key starting to get long again. Come through and just, yeah, just what that mink Brazili do. I mean, who even know got hair like this though? For real, when was the last time y'all had a swig of H2O? Two hydrogens, one oxygen. When was the last time someone broke down what water was to you? I like to put y'all on, I put all my girls on game too. And that's exactly why this video was sponsored by SA Tigers. Do you love twerking at the club? Do you love kicking it with the trade? Cause I know I do. But no one likes to have to deal with that and have to deal with schoolwork. And that's exactly why I say Tigers is here for y'all. This is the most crucial time in your college, you know, year, especially for my seniors. The school year ending in about, I don't even know. <laughs> but this is supposed to be the year I graduated, but it's, it's good. It's, it's whatever. We're not talking about that. We're talking about how SA Tigers can make your life easier. SA Tigers is an online resource made for college students like y'all to help y'all eat through your college experience and to help y'all turn in good quality essays. I have a lot of friends that are in college that go to Prairie View or Texas Southern and they're always telling me like, oh, I can't hang out this week because it's about to be finals. I gotta write this big paper and I wanna do this. I got this, I got work, it's just too much. And I literally tell them about SA Tigers and a few of them have used it as well. I'm sure you guys already know, but for my new mobsters, SA Tigers is a research online where after you fill in all your requirements for your essay, a real college professor will write the essay for you to ensure that you get the best grades you can possible and you don't have to worry about plagiarism. There's a million different trillion a AIs. You think they not using the same words? Stop going to chat GTP for real, cause you about to irritate me. Click the link in my bio, use code KeysYT for 15% off your next order. Thank you, SA Tigers. Uh, One thing I'm gonna do is get these bills paid, am I right? <laughs> Now let's get into these story times. Actually, you know, before we get into these story times, I want to preference one thing. I do not act like this no more. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend like I'm ashamed of it because if I was, I clearly wouldn't be telling y'all. But like, I haven't told y'all a story about, and yes, I'm brushing my hair, even my eyebrows, I don't care. But I haven't told y'all a story like this in so long because I'm not going to lie. I did not want this like perception of me in people's heads, but I'm not like, I honestly say at the same time, like I don't care. No gay boy is going to talk mess about me because the gay experience is very similar. A lot of y'all probably have even worse stories than me, not gonna lie, but not a lot of y'all, you know, fish enough to come, you know, come to the forefront with it like a real B word. But then as well, I'm not gonna argue with no girls about it because... 
I don't argue with women because y'all gonna get me mad. I'm gonna get Ricky to beat y'all up. This was my, well, I can't even say my first year of college because every year was kind of my first year of college. But this is my second year of college, but it was community college. And I say second year like this because if y'all don't know, I did Running Start my senior year. So I actually started Running Start kind of late. Then obviously COVID happened and I had to do Running Start again. Or not Running Start, but online college at the same school. And I had to unenroll from my university. University prices for online class courses, it don't make no sense. So I had this math class and the teacher was a raging like I did not like her. Some teachers are just very passionate about their job and they really do care about the students. I don't get these vibes from her and I honestly don't remember her name, but if you're watching this ma'am, um, can you swallow Ed Hardy belts? Like just good, a good like eight of them, please. And then a stiletto, like I want you to get whatever, you know, what's a really unpleasant, and then a thong, please swallow some panties. But, but you know what, I gotta give her her props because I wouldn't have met my man. You know when you're on your Zoom class, it's always awkward them first few days. And she was on the teacher that made you have your camera on. So you had to look the fish, you had to have the camera pin up somewhere. Like you just always had to have just because for me, I'm sorry, like I, I care about how I look, especially when it, I don't know why I just always care about how strangers think about me. So girl, I'm in there and there's this one boy. And this is okay, so around the time is when I had like them really colorful lights around my room. And girl, I could have just swore I was so fish with him because that was like one of my first promos. So I was expecting someone to ask me about it and I could be like, yeah, I do TikTok, it went over right now. My fault, I didn't mean to cough in your mouth. So why did the boy end up like messaging me, right? And I was like, wait, hold up. Don't, uh-uh, don't do that because to, don't even do that. Like what, sir? This is needless to say, but around this time, this Keith didn't really feel too confident in himself. So I was even like gagging that he even liked me for real. First he just complimented the lights and I was just like, thank you. And then he was like, can I get your Snapchat? And I was like, like that was a big job. Like, I like wait what but like I, I gave it to him like I definitely gave it to him and looking back at it now like he really wasn't even that cute you couldn't tell me nothing like I thought me and this man was about to get married just from that one interaction mind you me and the boy get to flirt and nothing really too crazy for real for real I'm not gonna lie I really don't remember much of what we was even talking about but it clearly got to the point where we were like do you want to just hang out and I knew what that meant he was trying to stick something in my something something and what did I say my fast ass. I said yeah yeah I want to hang out let's kick it let's hang out tomorrow what's that Bro, no red flags for real, for real. I mean, but was there even time to be a red flag? Like, bro, I'm so happy I really do give myself time to figure out what a person is like because of course there'll be no red flags. You just met him yesterday. Bro, you just met him last dusk. Like, can you let it marinate a little bit? But I ain't had no class. I was like, hey, what time? Where, where do you want to meet? He wanted to pick me up so bad and I was like, no. Picked a little spot and y'all, I don't know what is my infatuation with this spot, but I've took like five different people here and I have not done everything with all five of them. This is the same spot as when that boy trying to take my uh, phone and try to rob me. Remember that story time? So basically when we had went to that second parking lot, it was right there. This is also the same parking lot that I took that boy who I caught messing with his ex the whole time. It was, ugh. It's just too much that goes on here. But he wanted to pick me up from my house and I was like, uh-uh, because I do not want my parents. I hate, I don't know, I really am like big on my family not knowing my business. That's why I kind of hate when they be like watching my videos sometimes because I'm sorry, if you watching this, Auntie Raw, I know you watching this. I love you, but like just click off because it gets worse. I don't need you seeing me like this. Click off and just give me a like and just comment for the algorithm. So we get there, mind you. At this point, I wasn't as big as when I was at like my my climax of my weight, but I was on my way there. Like I was definitely gaining some weight a little bit thicker around the edges. And I made sure I wear this oversized hoodie. And mind you, I didn't really want to sleep with the boy. I'm more of like a head for head type of person. Cause it hurt, like it's not, stuff isn't supposed to go in back there. You feel me? So it's quite painful, very discomforting. So I'm like, you yeah, know, okay, let me wear this cute little um, oversized hoodie. This class of 2020 hoodie, let him know that I'm, you know, a socialite and I'm educated and I'm black and I'm beautiful. And you know my thought long. Uh, Rooster neck case. So why are we talking and his weight comes up in conversation and he ends up telling me he used to be big and I was like, oh my God, like I'm not gonna lie, like I was sucking my stomach in all night and we were also, you know, blowing that. So I'm like, woo, I can, you know, let, let this stomach hang a little bit because he gonna know what it feel like. And just to give you like comparison, this was what I looked like at the time and he was kind of like my weight now. He kind of looked like slim, like how I look now. Not me trying to throw in there that I'm slim. Yes, I'm I'm, I'm feeling it because I'm getting a little skinny. Right, so why do I feel comfortable enough to hit him with the, you know, like, okay, that's what's up. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous because I gained a little weight since the pandemic started. And when I said that, that boy, bro, it was like mid puff. He was like, why does he ask me how much weight did you gain? And I was just like, like, has it, has you, do you, do you eat your mom out with that mouth? You don't ask nobody something like that. You don't ask no lady that. Mind you, the whole time it was like 25. I said like seven. <laughs> or eight or so. So he asked me, well, can I see what you look like under there? Because I'm not really into big people. 
Wait. Wait now, wait now, hold on. I just start awkwardly laughing cause I'm like, no way you want me to take off. I'm like, it's cold. He's like, bro, we're in the car, turn the heat on. Like he was fiending to see my body and I was just like, I mean, I guess, but can I go get something out the car? And he was like, yeah, like I guess. And girl, I got in that car. And I, I pulled out and a little too fast. I was a little, I was a little, I was a little toasted. I'm not gonna lie. I zoomed out the car and it was so embarrassing because I hit like the way I zoomed out, like I went like and then went back forward like that. It was a lot going on. And clearly we was both being hecka childish because why did we make each other partners for a study group? And we was a four person study group, but it was like you and your partner and then them and their partners, but y'all always come back together. So the next day it was so awkward. We just never, I unadded him on Snapchat and I was like, bro, how am I about to like deal with that? And I just acted like nothing happened and he did either. And then why did I find out that the he told the teacher he wanted to be on my study group? Like you don't like big people like that? I was gagging, like that was really it. Nothing crazy. All right, next story. I'm actually about to go in with our cunt. Conditioner, conditioner, dish, dish, dishener. I use my Miel. I'm not telling y'all what I use because they didn't. They never sponsored me after y'all flooded their comments. Okay, don't buy it. It stink and it smells like booty and your hair fall out. Story number two. Now this one, I've told this a couple times on YouTube, not YouTube, on uh, TikTok Live. So there's gonna, there's always that one person who's gonna be like, wait, didn't you tell this case? And I'm gonna be like, no, nah, didn't I just say I told it on TikTok? This one is a grinder story time. <laughs> If y'all know my past, and if y'all know me, and if y'all have seen my track record, these ones never, these ones never go too good. And what's crazy is, I have a story time on here, I kind of want to take it down and retell it because I have two, what I told it the first time is two people that I do not like in the video, running up their airtime and having their face in my videos, and y'all know how I feel. Once I don't like you, I don't want nothing to do with you on my page. But anyways, the point I was trying to say was if you watched that video when I first told it a few years ago, y'all, this story time, like these grinder story times at college have been my worst. So anyway, I'm on the app being fruity. I matched with this one boy, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like he up late, like I, that was my type of thing. I never was the type to really like sit there and plan it throughout the day, like, cause I never really cared that much. I just need my fix when I need my fix. I'm not about to make a date to be you know a punk so he's up there he's cute and it was so rare that that would even happen because y'all this is the thing with my college i didn't go to one of them like hbcus and i didn't even go to one of them like white colleges that were so packed and so popular that it wasn't hard to find other cute gay people so usually i would go on there and just be super duper disappointed with the selection of the meal that night one day i was like no he's a cute little hors d'oeuvre you know this is an appetizer and i'm ready to eat you know what i mean if you know what i mean you know what i mean Nah, y'all probably got some self-respect, so you don't know what I mean. But I was on this app being gay, and I matched this boy, he's cute, and he don't even go to the school, he like live kind of out, well, he, you know, now that I kind of think about it, he might have went to the school and he just didn't live on campus, but I'm pretty sure he didn't go to the school. But he definitely didn't live on campus, so he was asking me, like, do you at your own dorm? I looked over to the side to that, you know, trifling roommate I had, and I was like, no, sir, but I do got a movie room. I was one of those. I didn't care about the, the, the cleanliness of the rest of the students. I'm sorry, I'm not proud of it. I'm just, you know what I mean? To go to heaven, you gotta speak your truth. So he comes over and I remember when I see him, he did look a little different in person, but he was still fine. So I was like, okay, woof. I would hate to get a catfish because I never cared to hurt someone's feelings. Like I feel like you catfishing me is such a low level of disrespect. Like I couldn't take everything now. I had a little, a little bit of coof. The first thing I noticed when he walked through the door, What's this big old booty? I ain't seen a booty this big on a man since. I know he fart and it be hella loud. He ha he doesn't know what's silent but deadly. They just all be loud. Y'all ever stepped on a bag of croutons? Like, like y'all ever just worked on bubble wrap? That's what I imagine. It's so we go to the little movie room, right? We start walking to the movie room and mind you, I used this movie room before and I was like, you know, I just knew something bad was gonna happen because the last time I used it, that's not this story, that's the very next one. Crazy, like I've never had something like this ever happen. Usually when I go into the movie room before this, when the last time I did something or if I actually just go in there and would try to watch a movie with my friends, it was never nobody using it because if y'all don't remember, I had the dorm that was like kind of like the old dorm. My godparents used to go to that dorm. So it was super duper duper old. You know, anyone who really was at this dorm didn't really have enough school spirit or college spirit to even want to really be up watching movies like you was just either at someone else's dorm the new dorm or you were asleep depressed and worried about how you gonna pay off these hundred thousand dollars worth of loans at 19. i should put a perm in my hair so i can just lay it back all the time anyways when we went to the movie room there was someone like who had the door locked because you could lock it from the inside obviously and i was gagging cause i was like bro is it just locked or is somebody in there because it's it might because mind you it's like 3 a.m like i'm like who's in there like no one's ever using it at this time and someone came to the door and was like oh yeah, sorry, we just got in here. I was like, oh, okay, no problem. So I didn't know what to do because clearly we couldn't go in my room. But like I said, my roommate stank ass was in there. There was still one more room. There was still one more room. There was a kitchen. Oh, like 
like what is wrong with me like what why would i and you know what i'm no better than a man we all the same gay men just because we act like girls we, we act like boys for real for real so i'm like i mean you do got a pretty hefty winter coat on do you want to lay down on the floor and get active in there or what like what you like you let me know he was on that and i'm sorry like when someone matched the energy like that when they be out not okay another thing about me and this is a little tmi but it's like whatever we close we, we dating anyway we all already dating so i can tell y'all this but one of my like kind of like mm, what's the word i'm looking for things that arouse me is like public things like when not too public though like i would never do something on the subway like how some of the girls get to doing nowadays but you know when a like a fitting room or something where it's like you could get caught but the likelihood of you getting caught is very unlikely like i don't know that, that's kind of like my thing i don't know it just adds an extra little umph to it i don't know so when he said yeah i was like okay man so we go into the kitchen clearly there was nobody there because no one really used that kitchen it was really like smaller than this if i say get active no we did not sleep with each other but like i said we go head for head around this way and well that was the plan i didn't have to do nothing like that's what i mean listen when you're really bad you might not even have to use them jobs but here's the thing that made it so difficult there was like this much space between the floor and the door so we had to be quiet in the sense of what if someone comes in through the door and they're just using it? There was also an elevator that got you from the floor that we were on to the other floors. Cause I used to live on like the first floor. But that was another reason why it was kind of risky, but you could also lock the door in there. So I don't know, but I'm not gonna lie. Like I've seen, and there was a lot of crazy things that like happened at my college, like crazy things. Like we always would see people like doing it from their windows and other dorms. Cause they would just leave it wide open. I don't know, you know, when you get to college, anybody who's like gone to college and lived that lifestyle where you just start getting active and you just, you know, cause it's gotten a straight or gay people, I guess. you. No, it's just different like you would never do the things that you would do in that moment in college when you were in that era that you would do now that you're out and any you just you just have to live through it to understand what i mean it's not like that for everybody sometimes people have class all the way through their college experience i was not one of them yeah girl that's exactly what we did we put that thick north face on the floor i sat down <laughs> And he got to munching. And it was cool. Like, it was good. Now, here's the thing. We heard people come to the door. And there'd be some times where we wouldn't be paying attention. But you would just hear the steps walk past the door. But we had already been loud for like a minute before that. So it's like they heard that. And then we would just be like. Turn the lights off. Like, girl, it would, it would be this. It would be doing. It would be this. Wait, what is that? Wait a minute. Hold on. Cut the fucking lights on, like what like what? i'm listening to myself right now like bro what was going on with you so here's the thing i'm also one of the people where you got to kind of beat me to the to the finish line so if i get to the finish line before you i don't help you get there like you're on your own like i'm very selfish i'm not gonna lie i gotta really like you and i never really liked anybody that like i'm not gonna just really like you if i met you on an app for hookups you feel me it just wasn't like that like there ain't a booty big enough on the earth but girl i surely grabbed it and smacked it i felt so trady and now i know why they do that i wish i had enough back there because i remember one time whole different story i was doing something and then they got to smacking there wasn't very much back there's before i got in the gym my booty got a little bit fat so it was just like this it was like like you know when you're trying to like start a fire that's what it felt like and you could tell he was trying his hardest to act like he didn't see but i was just like bro just stop it felt like a turtle show like you it's okay you don't got to sit there and lie to me bro so when i got to that finish line i made up an excuse and i was like okay like i really do gotta go and there's mad people walking in here there wasn't really that many people walking in and out of there but i was like we can kick it tomorrow if you want like we could just do another part two tomorrow maybe the room will be different because at the time like i was in the mood no more but i do know myself and i know that later on i probably would be in the mood and maybe we could do something again but now nah, uh, by the time he left the door, I was just thinking to myself, like, wow, that was amazing. A lot, you know what I mean? Like, some people just know how to use their chops. And he was one of them. And I blocked him. That was that. Next story. Okay, so this one is honestly super duper, uber, super, looper, cooper. I'm a slooper. I want to go and eat my duper. And I want to see you in the trooper. Is he a vet or is he a trooper? I think he is Anderson Cooper. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, this happened. <laughs> so, remember when I told y'all the last story time, like literally the one about two minutes ago, that I also went to the movie room for a whole different link with somebody else and it was terrible? This is that one. So, this was not a grinder one. I actually found this person on Tinder. A little bit better. For some reason, Tinder is a better like place that it doesn't get as bad as a rep as grinder because grinder is solely for gay men. But no, it's still pretty bad. Y'all straight people are no different from us. Anywho, I see this guy. Okay, so 
let me actually throw it all the way back. So in one of my classes, at this point, I'm clearly in actual college. And when I would be walking, there would be this one man that I would always pass and I would just be like, oh, he is so fine. I would always look at him. So one day I'm on Tinder and I was like looking through there just scrolling. And it was a lot of left swipes. I'm telling you, it was not a lot of cute boys there. It was also not that many gay people in the area. Like I lived, I had one of them colleges where it was kind of secluded. So after, you know, 15 left swipes, baby, you gotta wait till tomorrow or you gotta move your geo tag about 100 miles north. So, <laughs> bro, like I was deprived out there. Like that's why I was going through the things I was going through. I didn't have no, you know, con no consistent trade. So why do I like come across the man that I always pass and I automatically right swipe and before he didn't like match me. So I was like, dang, maybe he's not into like younger people or I'm, I'm just ugly. So girl, I get to adding some new photos on my profile, you know, ones where I'm poking out the booty a little bit, but not too much because I have booty do. And if y'all don't know what booty do is, that's when your stomach hangover more than your booty do. I always wonder what these story times happen if I was now keys like skinny keys which is nothing wrong with that you know what I mean I wish I wish I knew that I should have loved myself more than I did you know what I mean that's what I'm trying to get because I know I got some plus size followers and I love y'all and I want y'all to love yourselves don't take because I, I feel like I got always over explain I'm, I'm not doing it no more I look good being big I didn't <laughs> that's why I lost the weight so later that night which was just perfect because I told y'all I'm a night out as soon as the sun go down the moon come up the demon Come out. Of course, that's when I got that match. So, of course, I took it as a sign to go ahead and, um, you know what? Let me make this clear as well. Now, this man was older, and he was a lot older than anything that I feel like y'all probably think. I like him old. I like him mature. I don't want you to look like you just hopped out the sandbox. But at this time, for some reason, I was into him like 38, 40. If you was really, really, really fine, but you have to be black, you, you'd be 50. So that's why I was a little confused why he had the problem that he had while we was doing what we was doing. Because he wasn't that old. Like, he was at least, like, I think that man had to at most been, like, 42. And he was mixed, by the way. I know someone's going to ask. He was mixed. But the crazy thing is, this man worked on the campus. So I felt even, like, it just felt so risky to me. Like, I've never even had nothing like that even happen in my life. Like, I just, I'm sorry. Like, I was already thought he was cute. But then you think I'm cute. And if we're about to, we got to keep it a secret. Like, yeah. So, I'm just brushing imagination. Wow, a head full of edges. Who do I feel like? So, he ends up, like, he was real, like, kind of nervous to hang out with me because he didn't want to be caught and he thought I was going to be messy and talk the business. And I was like, I'm not. Whole time, look at me. You know what I mean? But he, it doesn't matter now. And, y'all, when I, this, yo, this is so crazy because this is one of the first times, this is, like, literally the first time I ever got my, ooh, what's the word? My, you know what I mean? Like, that was the first time and it was crazy. Do you ever just miss your man? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. Like, I just realized my camera wasn't recording. So I don't even know what part I left off at, but he was just old and he was not supposed to be talking to students and he was. And so at first he wasn't really with us, like actually talking to each other or nothing because clearly he didn't want to lose his job for whatever, the, what's the word? It, uh, whatever he was doing, he knew it was wrong and he was scared. Eventually he got over it because he saw I was down with the gang. So on my side, he finally came over and we finally, we went to the movie room, right? Because I, I, mind you, I had been plotting on this movie room because when I went through all my friends, I was like, no, wait, now, hold on. Hold on. What you mean three couches, a big room, privacy, a locked door, and there's not no thigh gap? <laughs> you know, in the door, oh yeah, no. This is about to, I already knew what I was about to do. I already knew. I already knew. So he comes over, we go in there, and he looks so fine. I was just like, oh my God, like... <sighs> He didn't like listen. I'm so happy he wasn't even with the like let's do the fake conversation thing. Like he kind of tried it when we went in there at first when we just kind of like unclothing ourselves. Mind you, we still weren't sleeping with each other, but it was just you know when you get grown you like to do things all the way. And he was just a little extra like nervous. He was like, "Are you sure? Like if that's gonna be fine?" And I was like, "Yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. You're you're good, sir. I ain't done this before, but trust me, ain't nobody coming in here." So you know he get to using them chops. It wasn't nearly as good as the second person, but y'all uh, when he flipped me over, put that tutor in his face. Uh, got to, you know, <laughs> got to eat a ding ding. Oh, wow. Changed my life. Had a whole new perspective on life. I was like, you know what? Maybe the earth is flat. I felt like I was on a psychedelic. You know that one episode of SpongeBob where they went to the perfume store? That's what it felt like. I was like, whoa. Hey, going down back there. It's going to be enough. It ain't going nowhere. And he was like, okay, my turn. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, cool. Like, I'm down. Like, I'm down with it. Like, I'm ready. He didn't really have all his clothes all the way off because he still had his drawers on. I remember thinking, because they weren't like boxers, like the plaid drawers that people be wearing when they butt stink. It was them boxer briefs. So you can always tell when someone's, you know, in, excited or not. And I was like, it don't look like he's excited. You know, it didn't look like he was too fond of me in that moment. But you know, the way he was munching back there being greedy, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't tell with some indiscrepancies with the story. Why does he end up being like, you know, by the way, so I got a, I got an implant. 
like you got like some titties. <laughs> he pulls his drawers down. I'm like, mm, what that? What do you? What are you doing? I don't do the gummy. Like I, I don't even know you like that. Like I'm gonna need you to. You know what I mean? Like what do you want me to do with that? He grabs onto his family jewels. He just starts squeezing them all extra hard. I'm like, oh my god. He was like, yeah, that's this is what I have to do. But with every squeeze, it's growing. Not make this up. He grabs onto it, and with every squeeze, it just starts. Growing. Maybe he was doing underneath it, but it, it, it was definitely in that area. But with, when you know what was psyching me out the whole time, every squeeze that he did, there was a pop sound with it. Like that, it freaked me out so bad, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm ages. Nope, 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 nope. And immediately I got to lie, and I was like, oh my god, like you are just so fine. Wait, let me, let me be right back. I, I want to go get something. I want to do something. I'm gonna go get out my my room. He's like, okay, you gonna be back soon? Like, are you good? I was like, yeah, just lock the door. No one's gonna come in here. He's like, okay, but hurry up. Hurry up. And then when I get up, he starts, he gets to smacking me in my, my, my butt. I'm like, oh, no, sir, you lost that. <laughs> you lost them privileges. That's a hard boy sport. Like, you can't, this ain't, this ain't for you. This ain't yours no more, papa. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and keep your hands up off me because next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. And so I left and then I blocked him and I took a different way to class. And that's that story and that's it. That's the end of this video. So, yeah, I'm not sure how long this is. It's probably super duper short. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Did you? Let me know which video you think is like, which story time y'all thought was like the craziest or the funniest or like the like gaggies. So come here. Also give me a thumbs up. Follow me on my social medias. And thank you so much, SA Tigers. Make sure y'all check them out. Especially my college students. Like real, like for real, y'all. The school year's almost over. Y'all gonna need some help. Like for real. I appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all a hundred times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye. Oh wait, no, wait, no, no, wait, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, and I'm about to put that collar back. Chuck up the mother effing deuces. Chuck up the deuces, chuck up the deuces. Ay. Okay, bye.